It's time for another luxury picnic business video. Super excited to be talking about this. We're gonna be breaking down how much time a luxury picnic business takes, what type of time commitment you need to have for it, and specifically I'll break it down based off of different incomes that you might want to plan for. Because to be honest, it's very flexible how much time you can put into the business. So I'm gonna be telling you what you might expect if you put in you know, X amount of hours versus if you double or triple that. Let's talk about the time commitment of a luxury picnic company. So I'm actually gonna break this up into three different sectors. So one, when you're just starting out, two, if you're wanting to do this part-time, and three, if you're wanting, wanting to take it full-time. So just starting out deserves its own little section because just like just about any other company or any other endeavor, it's going to require more time up front to get everything set up than it will require later down the road in order to keep it running. To set up the company, there's quite a bit you have to do. There's a lot of research you need to do. There's uh, a lot of shopping for products that you need to do. You need to set up all of your online social accounts and your website and make sure that your booking mechanism is working. Now, when uh, Courtney, my wife, started the company and I you know, assisted with that, we didn't really track our time super well. So I'm just kind of going off of memory with this, but we spent about approximately a month prepping the business before it was ready to actually launch and start serving clients. And I'd say we put in about 20 hours a week doing that. So I, I think that's a pretty safe estimate to say what it could take. All right, what if you just wanna do this business part-time, you don't have a lot of time to devote to it. Maybe you're working another job or you have kids or other commitments. So for the part-time, I'm gonna assume that you're going for about two picnics a week. If you're doing that, then I would say you're probably in the five to 10 hours a week range worth of time commitment. And roughly that should translate to about $1,500 to $2,500 worth of income that you can expect if you are doing that, all depending on the price that you charge for your picnic, but based off of just kind of like median pricing of, of many luxury picnic companies. So for a lot of the time that we ran our picnic company, that's actually like the kind of level of commitment that we put in. There were times we did it a little more, times we did it a little less, it, it kind of averaged out to about that. So uh, basically, if you can sacrifice two evenings a week, then you can probably run your own luxury picnic company part-time, and through running it part-time, you can expect to you know, maybe bring about a couple thousand dollars in of income from the picnic company. But what if you wanna scale that up to full-time? Well, it's definitely possible, and plenty of people have done that. I truly believe that we had the ability to do that because when we were running our business part-time, we were actively turning down inquiries for events and picnics and weddings uh, just because we didn't have the time to be able to scale it up full-time. But the demand was definitely there. Now, before I talk about the number projections with this, I just want you to keep in mind that I try to give people like achievable, realistic expectations when I talk about financial projections and what they can make with something. And just because I'm trying to give something achievable, that doesn't mean that anybody's guaranteed these results if they go and do these things. But what it does mean is that the numbers that I'm giving are founded in actual data and what people have accomplished. Uh, and so it's definitely possible. That being said, there are people that have exceeded these typical realistic results that uh, I'm talking about. And you may have seen news articles or videos about uh, certain companies and people who have done that. I mentioned those cases briefly now, so you are aware that, yeah, it's possible to do even better, and you can shoot for beyond these expectations that I'm setting forward, but I don't like to set people up for failure, and personally, I'd rather kind of plan for the conservative, realistic side of things, and then if I do better than that, great, I'll, I'll be thrilled. So what does full-time look like? I would say it's doing about eight picnics a week. So you're doing this multiple days a week, or alternatively, if you're branching out into the other events, it could be like a few picnics a week and then one or two other bigger events a week, whether that be a wedding or a dinner party or something else. If you're at this level, then I think a realistic range to expect of income for the company would be $6,000 to $8,000 a month. And that's just from kind of scaling it up from what those part-time results are to what it would look like if you're doing that full-time. Now, I get that that's a decent sized range. Um, to be honest, it's hard to even narrow it down to that because it varies so much. I mean, your income will be based off of what type of events that you're doing and what you are charging. But I do know that this is achievable 
if your business is having success and you're putting full-time effort into it. In summary, you can run a profitable part-time luxury picnic company with as little as five to 10 hours a week, maybe just putting a couple of evenings into it a week. And through doing that, you can bring in a couple thousand dollars of income in a month. And then if you wanted to let it grow from there, let's say you only had time to, to start out part-time, well, you can naturally let it grow as you start making more money, maybe make it more of a, a full-time thing. And that can grow into a business that makes, well, a lot more than a couple grand a month. I hope that helps. For more good, free, helpful tips, check out my other luxury picnic company videos. Thanks for watching.